All right, I'm here with the trainer of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, Charles Barkley, Kim Olajuwon, Tim Grover. Look at that ring. What year is that? 2009. Laker championship ring he has. Not bad. He's showing me how to shoot better. Check out his book, Relentless. What do you think is the number one thing you see recreational basketball players doing wrong? They Not never, stretching? They never cross half court. <laughs> They're out of shape. <laughs> How many guys have you seen in a pickup game where 10 people are actually on the same side of the court? Right. <laughs> so just conditioning stuff. Yeah. I mean, people, it's just like anything else. They want to play offense. No one wants to play defense. They won't hustle back on defense yet. When they get the ball, they're sprinting. They're sprint. Now, look, I'm open. What about conditioning? Do you have a favorite? A lot of people just condition to get tired, and they think that they're doing something. But the, the recovery in between your running and how you're doing it has a lot to do with how quickly and how good, how well you're gonna get in shape. So, you know, developing like squats on uneven bonzo balls or whatever, right. was that kind of stuff you were pioneering way back? Way, oh yeah, the, in the you know 80s, what? right? Yeah, Pete, if you watch people playing basketball, it's not in one plane. You know, they may jump off from a certain spot, land somewhere else, they're always hitting the floor. They're, they're getting they're getting pushed, so it's just like okay, if you only have them work on a grounded surface, then you're really not working all the aspects. You know, when you get rebound, when you jump, you may get pushed, so you want to be able to catch your balance, have the ability for your ligaments and tendons to be trained and developed, so they can take forces in uneven planes. So what's the main trick for somebody increasing their vertical? People either think that it's only the legs, but you gotta involve the whole body. You think of it like an accordion, an accordion is connected. When you take a spring, the farther you can pull it apart, and when you let go of it, the quicker it snaps right. together. People forget that the muscles, have, they contract in different ways. Not only do they shorten, but they lengthen also. So you have to be able to have a program designed that teaches your muscles to snap, shorten, and lengthen with a lot of force, but also do it with a lot of speed. So you have to work different types of contractions when you're working out. People have a tendency to only work the shortening of the muscle. They don't have a tendency to work the lengthening of the muscle. What's an example of a lengthening exercise? A lengthening exercise, and you know, we talk about this in the book, in the jump attack, if you were to sit down and just, you were to hold a lunge position, so if you were to go down, Okay, so if you would, right, and you were just to hold, just to hold that position for anywhere from a minute to three minutes. Oof. Okay. So you're just holding. Yeah, now you, now you, what you. <laughs> Time lapse, 30 minutes later. <laughs> Have you been able to find you can pretty much increase anybody's vertical? Oh yeah, and there's room for improvement for anybody. At a, how many people do you know in sports actually improve when they're 30? You know, Kobe's not gonna tone down his stuff for anybody. Right, oh. so flexibility stuff, most people. Now, flexibility in your, in, your, in your sport, what happens is a lot of people think if you're overly flexible, you'll be better at your particular sport. You have to be flexible in the range of motion for your sport. Okay. So like being able to do the splits is not gonna decrease your chances of getting injured. Because you never do the split motion. Right. You need to be flexible and be able to control that range of motion in whatever sports you yeah. do. It goes both ways. The one thing Larry did not do, and he, he got this a little later in his career, Larry did old school basketball where his thing was, I run and I play basketball to get into shape. Yes. He had never really lifted. He didn't he, lift. He didn't lift and do all that other stuff. Because you know, back then you thought about basketball and lifting. Oh, everyone, if you lift, makes It'll your muscle bound and throws yeah. your shot off and so forth. So but that, do you think that messed him up? I mean, he it, did in, not in, in, have. In the long term, it, it did because you know, when his back went out, when, when that happens, it's, it's too late. You just can't recover from it. And that's what we try to teach all of you guys. The only way, you can hold if it. you have a proper program, you're not going to do a, if you're a basketball player, you can do MMA 
right. as part of your program. But right. that can't be your, your that main. Can, yeah. That can't be your main thing. If you're trying to be a, a cleaner or a top MMA person, you're not yeah. going to do a basketball routine. You can come in and shoot around and maybe yeah. mess around a little bit just to break up the monotony. Yeah. But it can't it can't be thing. And a lot of people get they start to replace instead of add on. Like you'll see people, whatever the latest craze is, they'll say, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. You got a beautiful house here, right? But the bottom line is if the foundation right. is not built correctly, it yeah. doesn't matter what you have inside. And what everybody wants to do now is they wanna go to sexy. Right. And what I always tell them is that sexy can't cook. So what do I need to do better on my shot? Just think about this, when you shoot, okay, you want, to, you want to try to put these two fingers and your thumb and elbow in the basket. So if you make a shot and the ball comes back to you, that's a perfect shot. If you can hit it in the back of the rim, you don't have to chase the ball as much. It comes, it comes back to you. <laughs> when you're that good, then yeah. you determine <laughs> how you swish. Your shot's gotten so much better, see? It's from you. <laughs> I guess I couldn't hire you away from Jordan. <laughs>